friends and family I just got a 15 tooth front sprocket for my Honda Cub Honda C70 I'm in my room because I don't want to do it yet it's so hot but they say that it will make my bike run smoother and low rpm at higher speeds admittedly this would lessen my acceleration i know that and i am actually concerned because i'm 220 pounds but stick around we'll have to find out all right test number one from this line to that house oh there yeah there see how much effect the gearing change would have full throttle launch let's see how much time we get there and what speed we achieve it at it three two one boom People here think I'm a lunatic filming with my ancient bike. Alright, more bossing. Okay, so we tested the bike a while ago. Replace it now. Need tools, of course, and this rubber hammer to persuade the old sprocket from coming out all right game okay hello okay i just cleared most of my videos take four the reason why i got this rather than this higher sprocket in front no, more number of teeth because I want less RPM on higher speeds cruising around the city I don't really do full acceleration that much and we don't live in a hilly area as we are in the Philippines in Metro Manila at least so that <clears throat> 15 and 14 this is equivalent to plus 3 teeth on the rear sprocket it's gonna make my acceleration go away a tiny bit I don't know if that's gonna be a problem because I'm fat we're gonna find out tomorrow and that's it I'm just gonna put it back together this was harder than I thought no more st more stress stressful hassle so we'll see you tomorrow we will test this and see if it's better I hope it's better me yeah. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, naked and I'm trying to f f uh, move the axle forward a bit because as we know the bigger sprocket would need more space and if I don't move it, it's not gonna fit. So that's it. It's fast forward, I know it's boring, I'll just probably cut it. Fifteen tooth pro sprocket in front. Let's try it out. Smooth.
40 kilometers an hour. It's not, it's not noisy at all. All right. Here's the line. Let's let this guy pass through. And this guy, we're gonna see how fast we could get up to until that house over over there. Probably much slower because of higher gearing, but we shall find out. Let's wait for the guys. Oh, me. Ah, it's bogging down. Come on, bike. What do you think? Is it slower or faster? A while ago it was 17.1. Now it's amazingly 17.71. It's it's just a, a little bit smaller. I it's not you can't feel it at all. But I'm happy. RPMs are lower. Now back to the video. Not the same. All right. I don't know why it's, why it's the same, but it did the same. I'm happy with that. I think the whole downside with this bike right now, with this gearing, is if I need to go, go up a mountain, which is, uh, there's mountains there, yeah, I know, but I don't live there. What the hell did I just mean? Here it is. It means if I go up a mountain, it might be harder for the bike. That's it, that's it. It's cruising nicely, low RPM. Nice. It's quite good. I like it. 95 pesos, which is probably $2. Yep, that's how much it cost. But this is what I like about this gear. First gear is not utterly useless now. You can actually cruise at a decent speed at a not embarrassing RPM. I can be quiet. I know seven or six horsepower might not, not be enough, but this, that isn't what this bike is about. This bike is about having fun at low, non shattered and scary speeds. Like what I'm doing now. Third gear, 30, uh, nice. It's just nice. So, that explanation would take a long time, so I'll try to do it as quick as possible. Okay, the bike is now smoother. It runs at a lower RPM and it's probably much more efficient than gas oh, without sacrificing much acceleration what I doubt I think I would see the downside if I go go up a mountain as I said earlier and what else did I say in that long ass video yeah if you're planning to do this on your bike uh, it's I think it's better to buy the whole drivetrain front sprocket rear sprocket and chain so they would wear out evenly if you just throw what I did here, just a sprocket, that could that would prematurely wear out. It would wear out faster. And that, but it has to be partnered with each other. That's it. I just did this because I wanted to experiment. I just found it from a forum and uh, searched on YouTube uh, about, but I couldn't find anything on YouTube, so I tried decided to make my own. I hope this helps you uh, if you're planning to do this good for you and good luck long leg na siya no <laughs>